Hey guys, welcome back to another video in my AP Biology or Biology Olympiad prep playlist. In the last video, we discussed acids, bases, and buffer systems. Today, we're going to be talking about dehydration synthesis reactions and hydrolysis. So let's get started. Our body is composed of four extremely important classes of molecules. We have carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, and lipids. Now these molecules are huge compared to other molecules, so they are called macromolecules. Three of these classes, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids, are known as polymers. A polymer is basically a substance that is made of identical and repeating building blocks that are covalently bonded to each other. Building blocks. So the reason that lipids are not polymers is because they're not made up of repeating subunits. They're made of various different subunits. So let's say I have a polymer. This is what it would look like. Here, the red circles are the repeating building blocks, and the lines in between them are the covalent bonds that connect them. Now these building blocks that make up a polymer are called monomers. Now let's move on to how polymers are created and broken down. So polymers are created through something called a dehydration reaction. So this is what monomers look like. Let's say this red circle over here is a monomer. They have a hydrogen atom on one side and an OH or a hydroxyl group on the other. Glucose is a monomer. Notice how it has a hydrogen on one side and a hydroxyl on the other. Amino acids are monomers of proteins. Again, it has a hydrogen atom on one side and a hydroxyl group on the other. So this is how two monomers bond. Let's say I have another monomer here. The hydroxyl group and the hydrogen atom combine to form a water molecule. Now this water molecule leaves, and it leaves the two monomers covalently bonded like this. This is why it's called a dehydration reaction, because a water molecule is removed to form the covalent bond between the two monomers. Polymers can be broken down through something called hydrolysis. When you break apart the word hydrolysis, you can break it down into two parts of a word. Hydro, meaning water, and lysis, meaning to break apart. And that's exactly what hydrolysis is. It's basically just the reverse of a dehydration reaction. So let me draw my two covalently bonded monomers again. Red circle, covalent bond red circle, hydroxyl on one side, hydrogen atom on the other. So what happens in hydrolysis is you add water and the two monomers break apart into their original form. So they're separated, and they're back to what they originally were. The water molecule contributes a hydroxyl group to this monomer and a hydrogen to the other one. And that's all you need to know for this video. If it helped, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. 
As usual, I have linked these notes and a checklist of everything you need to know in the description box. Good luck studying and bye!